Hey, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here, checking in on this uh, Monday, Monday evening here, about 8:20 p.m. West Coast time, April 6, 2020. Who would have thought that this 2020 year would be such a uh, interesting year, right? A lot of stuff happening, and I'm sure there's a lot more to come. Taking a look at the uh, earthquake 3D globe here. Uh, continues to show earthquake activity throughout the United States uh, with the latest earthquake of 3.0 showing up in eastern Oklahoma out there. Uh, of course, no stranger to earthquake activity out there in Oklahoma. A lot of fracking and drilling sites. Uh, continued earthquake activity. Cluster of earthquake activity out there in uh, Idaho. And of course, this is the globe, the earthquake globe, showing 2.5 and above. So this is not picking up everything under 2.5. I'll show you that map here in just a second. Taking a look at the rest of the globe throughout uh, the Pacific. Relatively calm conditions out there. No major deep earthquakes. No deep earthquakes at all, for that matter. Uh, looks like there may be one over here, uh, 4.5 out here. Uh, showing a little bit of depth, 243 kilometers out there around the Afghanistan, Afghanistan area. Um, other than that, no major deep earthquakes out there and actually no major quakes to report. Uh, and once again, the latest earthquake being a 3.0 uh, there in Oklahoma of all places. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the live data coming in there on the bottom side of the screen. You can see the Idaho area. This Haley, Idaho section down here showing some earthquake activity. Uh, even those little small marks right there indicating earthquake activity. That one being a larger one. Uh, and that one right there may even show up on the Yellowstone data uh, that's coming up around the bend here. I don't know if it will. Probably not. But uh, right now graphs are looking relatively quiet uh, around the region. Not so much there in Southern California where we're seeing a uh, tremendous amount of earthquake activity i'm not joking folks 1281 earthquakes over the last seven days most of this earthquake activity occurring within the last two days and ever since that 4.9 earthquake that struck there in the uh in the region here southeast uh yeah southeast of anza california there on the san juanito fault system there and uh, it's pretty much a segment of uh, uh, fault systems that absorb, that absorb, I should say, uh, the majority of the stress between the North American and the Pacific Plate. Uh, the one above this is the San Andreas Fault System, the number one absorber of the uh, friction and the uh, movement along these two major plate systems, plate boundaries. So uh, this is kind of like a secondary, but there's definitely a major, major aftershock activity swarm occurring in that region. I mean, 1,281 earthquakes. That's a lot for a 4.9 earthquake, really. Uh, it is what it is, folks. Um, let's go ahead and drop this down or up, I should say, to a 2.5 and above over the last seven days so we can get a little bit better scale of the magnitudes. And if you look at it, there's not a lot, not a lot of 2.5 and above, but um, like I say, all the activity below that is no doubt uh, significant. Definitely a big significance out there. I want to hop over here to the southern section of the San Andreas Fault section down here, uh, just north of the uh, uh, Salton Sea area. You can see that 3.5 strike in there. There was a smaller earthquake. Uh, below 2.5 and uh, that's not showing up on this map here but uh, this is this is kind of a uh, interesting area to watch here this took place just a few miles from the San Andreas fault section over here on the hidden springs fault area uh, in between that and that what, what is this one here sheep hole fault okay I can't find a whole lot of information on these fault systems here they're pretty new. They're pretty undiscovered uh, as far as scientists uh, doing a whole lot of, of uh, investigation on them. 
but uh, nonetheless they are uh, a complex fault system out there in the spider web of fault systems along the San Andreas fault system here and this one taking place on the North American plate this is on the east side of the plate boundary uh, so it's kind of like I say it's about uh, trying to get a rough estimate here on the scale let me see what do we got here one two maybe maybe two miles from the San Andreas fault system up there in the hills but uh, either way Southern California is just a huge mess of, uh, of jumbled up fault systems down there it's a, it's a catastrophe waiting to happen that's what it is so one of these days it will happen and uh, you know scientists will probably say I told you so but uh, right now just uh, a little bit of activity out there close to the San Andreas fault system really nothing showing up specifically on that uh, fault system there taking a look up through the area it shows relatively quiet far as 2.5 and above goes uh, stretch up here through the uh, of course this is a creeping section of the San Andreas fault zone looking up here through the Bay Area shows relatively quiet activity as well but there's it's a major plate boundary folks a lot of stress being introduced out there on this fault system and uh, it's just it's, it's a danger zone there's no doubt it's a big danger zone out there and thank God I'm not super close around that area because uh, folks are going to be reaping uh, a lot of pain pretty soon. Uh, taking a look at Idaho area here. Still quite a bit of earthquake activity on the 2.5 and above scale over the last seven days. Let's go ahead and drop it down to one day. All magnitudes here. And you can see a little bit of quiet spell going on. Um, but still most of these quakes and I'm not for sure why uh, USGS is only showing 2.5 and above for this area I'm not seeing anything under 2.5 even though there is there's no doubt there is we're already seeing that on the live data coming in through the Idaho data stations that uh, quite often shows up on the Yellowstone station so we know there's a lot of earthquake activity out there but they're definitely being underreported, way, way underreported, and I'm not for sure why. We're keeping an eye on this. That's why I love running live data stations out here, folks. Uh, that way, even though you know the USGS may not issue an earthquake for a specific magnitude or any type of earthquake activity out there in Idaho, we can see it taking place right here on the live data stations right there, for example and also these smaller ones showing up. So there's a lot of earthquake activity still continuing out there in the state of Idaho. Uh, so yeah, 3.0, the last earthquake there in in uh, Oklahoma. Kind of want to get a specific function on that. Looks like at about five kilometers below the surface near Longtown, Oklahoma. And I'm sure there's quite a bit of uh, fracking operations and whatnot going on out there. Um, so we won't investigate that too much. It's just a just a hot spot of uh, fracking, oil rigs, oil rigs. I should say oil uh, wells and whatnot out there. Uh, you know that's that's what they do. Anyway, folks, gonna cut it short. Don't want to make a super long update video, but uh, did want to inform everyone on the major uptick or a major continuance on the aftershock activity there in Southern Cal. Uh, just pretty, pretty good aftershock activity. Over 1,200 aftershocks there from that measly 4.9. I mean, it's a, kind of a minor to moderate size earthquake there. But uh, a lot of aftershocks, no doubt, folks. Have yourself a very safe evening. I mean, who knows what tomorrow's going to bring, folks. It's like a... It's like a uh, I uh, kind of wish I had a crystal ball and to see what's going on. It's just we're living in a time of extreme uncertainty and uh, something I've never experienced, something most people listening out here have never experienced. I mean, we've never seen an unprecedented event like we're seeing here around the globe with what's going on with the uh, Corona stuff and uh, and the economy and the, and the powers that be. It's... Uh, it's getting very interesting, folks. That's all I'm going to say. 
Have yourself a very good night. Stay safe out there, please.